Hey everyone, the name is Eric and today I want to talk about my personality type and the question I get the most on YouTube is Eric, what personality type are you? And how do you know your personality type? And yeah, while I know a lot of YouTubers get a lot of shit from commenters, I feel my personality, my community is uh, very positive. Most people genuinely believe I am an INFJ and uh, most people won't question my personality type or if they question it they will understand my reasoning and accept my point of view after I've given it. So I don't see a lot of negative comments or negative feedback online about me or my personality type and not a, few, not a lot of people question my personality type. So I think that's a very good thing and I feel very positive about that. Other people that uh, run different shows to figure out your personality type and personality type of different YouTubers also tend to agree I'm an INFJ. There are some people that would say I'm an ENTP and some would say I'm an ESFP and some would say I'm an ENFJ. Other people would say I'm an INTP and yeah, on it goes. There's of course people that have different opinions. Everyone has a different opinion. But the most important thing I think is what is your opinion? What do you think? How do you type yourself? How do you identify? I would always trust the person to know themselves best understanding that they have been provided with the right tools to make a good analysis. If somebody says they are a certain type after just taking a quick personality test, I would question their type, no doubt. I would question them and I'd ask them to sh if they check the maths and I'd make sure they know their stuff. But if they've had the right tools and the right time and the right uh, awareness and the right process to understand themselves, I would trust them and I would trust them with no doubt. I would trust them to make up their own mind about themselves and to define themselves. I believe in, I'm, I'm INFJ and I'm an introverted intuitive and intuitive judging subtype. That means my strongest functions are introversion, intuition and uh, judging. And my weakest function is feeling. If any letter is misplaced, it's the feeling or thinking letter. So I believe that uh, most of all I'm an intuitive subtype. Intuition is the strongest letter in my four letter code and introverted intuition is my strongest cognitive function. So what that means is I'm a naturally introspective and the truth seeking personality type. I seek depth in everything I do. I need a lot of solitude and time to myself to process and understand myself my inner world. I can be slow and cautious at times. I'm a person that wants to think about things and prefers to think about things than to uh, experience them directly. I'm a person who leads by mind rather than conscience and sometimes my curiosity and my interest in things uh, will go before my heart and my feelings and my values in certain situations. That means a lot of time I get so caught up in the potential or the mystery of something that uh, I don't have time to consider other people around me and I can sometimes get a bit self-absorbed or a bit caught up inside my own head. It's hard for me sometimes. I disappear from the world. I don't hear what other people are telling me. I don't listen properly. I miss things that go on around me. I don't participate in life like other people do. I can be absent at work and around other people. I go into a tunnel vision. I'm so focused on my own things. I don't hear what other people around me are telling me. So these are some of the problems of being an introverted intuitive and intuitive judging subtype. When you have a very strong intuition, uh, I think uh, you can run ahead of other people a lot of times. Your information comprehension is much higher than most people. You're not better than anyone else. You just have a gift, one gift, that is better than the gifts uh, of other people in the same dimension. Other things... Uh, come up, I have other problems, I have other issues to deal with, I need to be better at uh, managing other people and connecting with others and uh, maintaining harmony and uh, good friendships and relationships with other people. At times I could improve my decision making, I could be stronger, I could stand up more for myself, I could set more boundaries. And uh, yeah, I have lots of room for improvement in a lot of areas. And you know, something I always say about the intuitive types is, yeah, they're lazy, they're smart but lazy, you know, they, they got lots of ideas, they've got lots of potential, but a lot of time we don't see it true, so we get caught up in the potential of something, but we don't actually do something on it, so that's a point, a lesson for myself. I'm always seeking to ground myself, and tr I'm trying my best to make sure that uh, I make something of myself, and uh, 
yeah, sometimes I can go down years studying something for no reason. I can just get so deep into it. I can yeah, literally fall down the rabbit hole, lose myself in it, and yeah, lose all grasp of reality around me. And um, so uh, at this point, I'm glad to have the community I do because I have a community that keeps me grounded. I have a girlfriend that supports me, and you know. I, so I've learned that there are some base connections that must be treasured and kept and maintained. You know, there are some people you can never ghost, some people you can never disappear from, some people you cannot ignore, you know, some people you always need to take care of and check in with once in a while. You know, you have your special important tribe and uh, those will always come before everyone else. So nowadays I also know that, you know, there are some people that come before anyone or anything else. And that means, yeah. My theories, my projects, they will always be there, you know, they will always be around, but uh, my friends that need me, you know, they they need me right now, and so I have to maintain a balance in that. So, yeah, um, I how did I find out and how did I know for sure I was an INFJ? Honestly, I don't think you can ever know anything for sure. <laughs> and uh, anything is a mystery and everything is a what if and there's always another side to the picture so the process of self-discovery is eternal how do i know well first i rely on a different multiple different sources i both listen to myself and i also of course listen to other people i'm always open to other people's feedback if other people have a different opinion I'm always open to see other people's point of view and I spend a lot of time introspecting and checking in with myself to see, hey Eric, why are you doing what you're doing? I make sure I have the right tool set and I work on the tool set and improve it to make sure it's perfect. I make sure all dichotomies and all uh, cognitive function definitions and everything I use to define type makes sense, is fair and is non-stereotypical. So it has to uh, be a fair definition that works for all types and it has to give accurate meaningful insight it has to be consistent it has to work for a reasonably long time it has to match with my entire life not just some parts of it it has to be consistent with who i am in multiple situations you know it has to understand me from multiple levels it has to accurately pinpoint how i think it has to be able to predict how i'm going to act and how i'm going to respond in the future so yeah i run all these checks on myself and i uh, make sure i have all these things with me and i always contrast i look at other people with my personal type and i check in am i like these people do i act like these people do i have these mannerisms do i do these things yeah and turns out most of the time I do and then I if I'm considering another personality type I look do I have those mannerisms no I don't so yeah uh, that's how you do it you uh, compare and contrast you check in you process you take your time uh, you don't and this is some uh, do not lists for you all um, don't rely on stereotypes, don't Google, don't uh, have somebody on Facebook confirm your personality type based on a brief interaction. Uh, don't uh, go to, uh, you know, an incompetent uh, professional and pay them a lot of money uh, if they can't give you an accurate and uh, understanding and thought out analysis of your personality type. Make sure people give you evidence and uh, re clear reasoning for why they think the way they do and that they're not just going off a quick hunch. Uh, give people and give yourself time before you make up your mind. Don't rush a conclusion. Don't go too fast. Uh, make sure you look at things from multiple perspectives. So everything has to click. Every single part has to click. Uh, if there are any contradictions, write them down and figure them out. You know, everything has to click eventually. All puzzle pieces have to line up in the puzzle piece of you. And if there is something off, uh, something that really doesn't fit, uh, Chances are you're on the road to a new discovery about yourself or about personality psychology because maybe the whole dichotomy, the whole basis for your personality typing didn't make sense. Perhaps you used the wrong tools, perhaps the definitions you used were incorrect. Perhaps there was uh, something about yourself that you had misunderstood or perhaps there was a bigger answer. So yeah, always feel free to rely on my help. I offer coaching and I offer personality profiling for anybody interested. So if you want to figure out your personality type, visit patreon.com slash ericdor and ask for coaching or personality profiling. It's as simple as that and I'm 
available for booking and uh, anything. So if you have any questions, you can always let me know. And there is other people out there as well that can do a good job of helping you figure out yourself. I can recommend Objective Personality as a great professional project that will give you really helpful and accurate insights into yourself. Um, what else can I say about how you figure out your personality type? Well, make sure you come from a clear perspective. Don't come from self-judgment, don't come from criticism, don't come from harshness. Focus on neutral, non-biased insight about yourself and who you are from a neither negative or overly positive se setting. Don't glamorify yourself, Ma don't make yourself out to be more special, don't make yourself out to be more intelligent. Just focus on different qualities you have, neutral qualities that nail down the core of you. I believe, I believe your personality type is kind of like your soul, you know. And this is a new thought I had uh, earlier today. Uh, the soul best represents things about you that will remain you for the rest of your life. You know, things that will never change. You know, there's lots of things about you that will change. You'll get over certain things, you'll move past certain things, you'll change certain things about yourself, but some things will always be you. And that you will be your personal type. So find out what is it that has been relatively consistent through most of your life that best describes you and your personal type in multiple different situations at work, at home, in relationships. What is something you feel or value or care about that will never change, that will always remain you. And then you, if you know that, you're on the key path to figuring out your personal type. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.